Hey guys, this is Swatches. Um, we just finished up the distillery district. Um, I didn't eat any of these foods because I thought I would get in a fight, but I didn't, luckily, somehow. Um, so, so we did what uh, Granny Rags wanted us to do, which is poisoning, basically, their um, elixir <laughs> stuff. And she said she'd give us another gift. Thank you. Another birthday gift. Is she gonna just pop up behind me again? She did that last time. It freaked me out. I hate that. Oh god. Is there anything else I can do? Do I get another gift from you, lady? This is the button I wanted to press. How many runes do we have? One. <laughs> Yay! This will be a good one for uh, stealth, but... Honestly, I'm going to try and not kill as many people as possible, so... I don't know what I want. I think this one will be good. It's either one of these two. These are definitely the ones I use the most. Um... Spend time would be helpful. It's not just time slowed, but time completely stopped and I move normally. Oh. That would be helpful in times when there's tons of enemies that I need to sneak around. Okay, old lady. Bitterleaf Alms House. Are we going to see another person pee? Oh, that was an accident. Doesn't <laughs> this is great? This sounds like a real life right now. This is crazy. They made this fantasy story of a land that was infected by a plague and doesn't feel too far off from reality nowadays. So you could play this game as like a, just an action game and just go through and slay everybody. Um, there is though like a chaos level in this game. So the more people you kill, the darker the outcome. So your actions actually do have consequences on the end of the story at least. Um, I think that's really cool. I remember the first time I played it and it was super dark. Um, the ending music was awful. I, I say it was awful, but it was just dim because <laughs> I'd killed like everybody and used that shadow. Um, what was that called? Shadow kill. Turn everybody to ashes once I killed them. But I'm going to try and make it a happier ending since just everything is dark in this game. And I like to be positive. I like to be positive, guys. Sometimes. I try. Gosh. Oh. I'm awful at this game. <laughs> I already went in there, right? So I can just pop on over here. 
I'm surprised that even worked. Boop. Hey, dude, how you doing? Huh? Just pressed R to reload. I guess coming around this way wasn't helpful. Oh, wait, can I? I don't think I've ever walked all the way up to this point. Cool, so I need to get past it. Hogar Square is right there. But there's a rune or bone charm here. Dang it. I hate doing these things. I feel so vulnerable. And there's somebody in there. And that's when uh, stop time would be just brilliant because nobody could see me as I go in there and get the rune. I'm just going to go in. Oh, no, 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 no. I think about this too much. I'm just going to go in. Okay, they saw me. I'm gone. They don't know where I am. What are they going to do? But now I have this. So what's the difference again? I've already talked about this in another episode, but I've forgotten. See useful objects and security systems through walls as well. Ah. Okay, and jump height and falling damage. Health. I don't really care about health. Or I could get bend time. <laughs> Everything's so tempting. I really want this upgraded blink, but I think I want to show you guys the bend time. I think that'll be useful at some point, but also this will show me like money and bone charms and rooms if I have a trouble seeing them. So that's good for all my upgrades. Yeah, I'm going to go with dark vision. So I'm supposed to go that way. Can I go a different way? This game's about options. Play your own way. At least that's what they would say all the time. Ooh, I think actually through there is a doorway that I can go. The Golden Cat. The finest ladies in all the aisles. Oh, yeah, that's not far out enough. <sighs> that, like, harpsichord sound is terrifying. I thought somebody saw me. So why am I up here? Oh yeah. This. Oh, however. Would they put this here even if it doesn't lead anywhere? Yes, they would. Okay, what's in there though? Also, how did this dude die? I never killed anybody. Oh, he probably got attacked by... No. Swarm of... Damn. Wow. They, uh... Yeah. 
Yeah, they ate that whole body. Okay, so I can't do that. Can't open it at this time. Maybe you come back to this map. Um, so maybe that's what it is. I might be getting the missions confused. What is my mission? Oh, I'm eliminating him and locating Emily's location. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I thought I was doing here, so. That would be why <laughs> I was confused. Save your game. I should do that. Or not do that. But now do that. You're an awful person. <laughs> I like Overseer Martin. That was funny. Yeah, Martin, you gotta... Wait, I just... Knock somebody out for you. I told the old man to do it. What a sight you are. I know who you are and what you're here to do. I think you should unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the voice, I'll buy you a hundred. Sounds good to me. Sounds great, Martin. Do I just do this? Yeah. I was thinking that might be some like punishment device, and that would be awful for me to do. Just like instantly kill him. Oops. So are we saving Emily? Awesome. Target rescued. So, tasks. Okay, so I need to s spare him. I thought that who was. I thought that was who I was sparing right there, but I guess not. Yeah, sounds good, dude. Stand on those things. Yeah. Is that open for me to walk through? I believe so. Use some sleep darts, I feel like we'll be good. So, the overseers, these dudes, they have masks, and you can't, like, shoot them front facing. Otherwise, they'll <laughs> not be damaged by whatever you're trying to do. Okay.
thought that there might be a, a little bit more. Captain Kurnow and his retinue will be here this evening. See that they are allowed through the checkpoint without incident. I would like him in a fair mood when I have drinks with him in the meeting chamber. Also be prepared to defend the checkpoint from the inside should things go awry with the negotiations. Awry with the negotiations. Not that I expect they should, but I want you to be prepared in case Kurnow and his men live up to the city watch's reputation. So it sounds like he's up to something. I won't lie. I'm gonna go find these branding instructions. Somehow. We'll make it there. Is there like an entrance somewhere over here? No. Don't think I need to sneak when I'm all the way. <laughs> 20 feet above these people. 30 feet maybe. Yeah, that's probably like 30, 40 feet. It's a video game so it doesn't matter. There are many pathways. I normally go up high because it's the easiest thing for me to do at least. Ooh. I love how everything's just laid out for you. It's like I don't even have to do any work. Cool. So we got that. <laughs> Probably the best I can do. Wait. Render High Overseer Campbell unconscious? I didn't know that I could do that. I've never done that in the game. I thought that was only like the non-lethal takedowns or things that were made. I thought that was just a Dishonored 2 thing because that's the only place I ever remembered having done that. But Spill the glasses. Okay, so how am I going to take out High Overseer Campbell? Where's my sleep darts? I should probably put them in the buttons somewhere here. Let's make this four, five. 
We gave you plenty of time to do this stuff. So what am I supposed to... Okay, I just want to do this. I just want to render him unconscious. How am I supposed to render him unconscious? Do I just do it now or wait? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. Seriously? That's annoying. I won't lie. <laughs> oh, everybody's out. Well, this seems like a good a time as any to... Um... And the episode. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next one. And we'll figure out how to do what I need to do with this dude. And yeah, we'll go from there. See you guys.